As a matter of fact, that was one of my questions. Will management ultimately accept this as a project? And, uh, and of course, the question came is, how much is it going to cost to do it? And, and what are the odds of doing it and so forth? I had to, once I calcu made the calculations, I pretty well figured out that, that it would work. And, uh, but there was going to have to be a lot of work done to make sure that happened. But there came a time when I, when I felt it was time to go talk to management and, uh, and see uh, whether they would get interested in the project and support it. And so this one day I, I made an appointment with the then general manager. He was, uh, 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 Klaus had uh, passed away in 1956. Uh, I came up with the idea in 57, but it was, uh, uh, this was uh, basically a night of the early part of, of 1958. But the thing is that uh, I made an appointment, I went to see him. The gentleman's name, general manager at that time, was a fellow by the name of uh, Lou Arnold. And he had come from New York uh, and uh, when we needed a general manager because Claus had passed away and so on. And uh, uh, so I presented it to him. He showed interest, but he then told me point blank that he said he was concerned that it might fail. And because of that, he said it might make the station look bad and make us all look bad. He said, therefore, I think that I'm going to have to turn it down. So, of course, that was not music to my ears by any means, and uh, I, I was a bit disappointed, but there was nothing I could do about that, certainly at that time. So I just had to, I didn't give up, uh, and but I kept working on the development of it. Uh, I had other things to do, though. I had a lot of engineers to supervise and so on, so I, could, I didn't want to make a career out of doing nothing but designing for helicopters that didn't even have approval. So, uh, but eventually, uh, uh, fate stepped in, and uh, in, in about, within about four or five months after this, uh, we uh, replaced Lou Arnold with a new general manager. And this gentleman's name was Jim Schulke. And uh, uh, so I didn't waste too much time I let him get settled, and then I made an appointment, and I went in and I did my presentation. And I must say, it was a joyful experience because his reaction was outstanding. He loved the idea. As a matter of fact, he, he said, well, what are we waiting for? He said, let's do it. <laughs> and uh, he said, you know, uh, uh, he said, we should definitely do it. He said, do you think it can really be done? I said, yes, I really do. I made my calculations, and I'm almost positive that if we can do it. I can't tell you exactly how long it's going to take, but I think it can be done reasonably soon. And he said, well, I'll tell you, one thing we have to do, we've got to be awful careful that we don't get the news across the street to our friends and enemies, <laughs> uh, our competitors, I should say, uh, Channel 11 or anyone else, because they're liable to try to beat us to the punch. Well, I really knew this, but, but I certainly agreed with it. And so uh, uh, he said, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. He said, get a very select group of people, very few to help you with the, doing the, whatever has to be done. Uh, and he said, I'm going to assign, I'm going to hire a, a photographer. And he knew this photographer. And he said, I'm going to hire this fellow. And his name was David Kovar, K-O-V-A-R, and uh, who was an outstanding photographer. And he, and he said, I'm going to hire him to document pictorially this whole project. And bless him for that thought, because uh, it's the, uh, it became the, the way that the whole project became documented. And that's why we have so many pictures that show exactly what happened from day one to the end. 